All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Gravity Max, and I'm here to do a live stream. Now, again, this is not the Gravity Max live stream. It is a live stream that happens to take place on the Gravity Max YouTube channel. So, yeah, today I'm going to be designing some medals because we recently had a game show. We had the Silas game show. And I think it's going to be fun. So I encourage you all to comment in the chat. And if you have been a previous guest on this live stream, then just join the Gravity Max live stream Discord. And I'm in the general channel right now. So just if you guys want to talk and enter the stream, then just, you know, make your way on in. So yeah. All right. All right. So let's begin. So I realized that our criteria to have a category let me let me quickly go to presentations so the criteria to get a perfect score or sorry to get a medal in a category is to have a perfect like score for the questions in that category right and I realized that we also had a game show in season one, and so I decided to check if there were any like perfect categories in season one. Uh, and I think, and there was one, so I am going to, you know, make a third medal instead of just two. All right. So yeah, if we remember. Everything highlighted in red is correct, which is counterintuitive, but it's it's Silas, so it's got to be red. But this green bar signifies a perfect score, and this was Sebastian's. And then this green bar also signifies perfect. So in the last stream, or the last game show stream, which was the finale for season one, I'm pretty sure it was the black boxes were correct and the white ones were incorrect uh yeah and i think that's the case because the white ones fit with the background so it's like everything's fading out of existence if you get it wrong so that's what that's what i'm gonna assume right now yeah i could do some quick calculations based on these balances yeah 200 400 so 600 1600 here wait let me calculate this yeah, I'm pretty sure the black ones are correct answers and the white ones are incorrect answers. Okay, so that means that I got perfect in astronomy. So I'm going to make that green just for later reference. Okay. Oh, all right. I picked the worst one to extend. <sighs> eh, whatever. Okay, so yeah, so we see that, right? Uh, I don't. Th I, I guess Sebastian didn't get a perfect category last time. He almost got one, but unfortunately he did not. So I will only be making three today. Okay. So yeah. So let's see. Oh yeah, I'll talk about this too. I just wrote up a quick list. I have only left the house four times since Wednesday when school ended, which is crazy. Uh, but it is good because it means that I am staying safe. Okay, so yeah, Silas Game Show. So the categories we need are history, astronomy, and anatomy. So I will write that down. I also have my characters open just in case I need a character, like if I need the customized, if I need the good G or the M. And I, I also have a document called My Stock Images, where these are just commonly used images. Oh look, I have made medals before. But these are just generic first, second, third place medals. And then I have all my planet designs. Um, and then all my molecules. So these might come in handy as well. Because I have a rocket. So that might be good for astronomy or something like that. Okay. So these will be, each slide will be like the trophy case. All right. So let's make the background... Ooh, and my fan is really humming right now. My computer does not like these live streams. <laughs> Anyways, so let's see. 
Uh, what can I close? Uh, can't really close anything right now. Oh well. I'll just dim the brightness a bit. Okay, so background color for season one stuff. I'll just make that like, let's make that like an ochre, like a trophy case or something. So that can be that color. And then season two, season two can be white because it's like, season two was dynamo, very black and white. So, okay. Actually, I'm gonna pick a color that fits better here. Got a light, yeah, maybe lighter even. Bam. Okay. That seems pretty good. So now let's set up our placard. So this is, let's call it audio wide as always. So gravity max game show achievement award in the topic of astronomy. Okay. I only need one of these. So then in the topic of astronomy, and then in the topic of anatomy, and then finally in the topic of history. Except I might change how these look, so. Yeah, let's make it a bit larger. And then we can make this double. Topic of astronomy. Very prestigious award. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. So this looks good. Let's give this a nice text color. All right, that looks good. So I'm actually gonna replace these again and make this in the topic of anatomy. And this can be black, because that fits with the black and white. And then in the topic of history. Okay, so now we can get to work on just the graphic design. And that's that's the fun part. So let's begin with astronomy. So since this was a season one, like this was a season one award, I want like each season's awards to have a different look. So I think I'm gonna achieve that using a like Roman numerals in the background, like stylized Roman numerals. So yeah. So let's see how that works. Okay, so these got to be gold. So let's see what gold color did I use for the first place award in this thing. So there's, oh, it's not listed. Well, that's fun. That means I have to figure it out on my own. Okay. Okay, I guess they were custom colors. All right, so that's a blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, and I'll keep this to the side so that I can use the darker color as well. But instead of making it a pixel like line outline, let's actually use its own shape so that we so that if we scale it up or scale it down in Google Slides, it won't look different. So, yeah, so this can be the darker color. So maybe I'll make this color the secondary color should be a bit brighter, I feel. So that's 80, 60, 0, 0. And this one is FFCO, 0, 0. Okay, so the darker one is half, is literally just half as bright as the brighter one. So let's make it, you know, 3 quarters as bright. So that's a CO and 3 quarters, that's 9 O. Okay, I'm actually liking that better, brightening it up a bit. Okay, so then we need our Roman numeral 
to signify that this is for season one. And that can be like, that can be a wider column. I'll thicken the outside of it as well. I think that works. So that in the second one, when we split it for season two, we can, like, the column will be thinner as well as spaced apart. But yeah, okay. So that gives us our, like, face. So let's just group that so that we won't mess with it. Group. And let's make sure that's all grouped. Yeah, okay, cool. So, let's scale that down a bit. Okay. So now we need to make a little rocket design. And um, luckily, I already have a rocket design for my stock images that you may have seen in previous videos. This is the souped up rocket design. This is the old rocket design. If you go back to like, I have four playlists right now of all my videos. There's early science videos, early middle science videos, late middle science videos, and late science videos. I think in like the middle science video categories, you'll see this rocket. So yeah, this is a better rocket, I must say. It took me some time to design it. So now we are going to have to alter the colors so that it's the monochromatic gold like emblem. So yeah, we'll have to scale it down a bit more. Okay. Maybe this can go up the center and then we can have stars on either side. Let's see how that ends up looking. Okay, so the first thing I should do here is turn all the colors into our gold color. Okay. And these lines can be the darker one. Okay. Now we have to, I would say, collect the, where are they? Here they are. We got to find these guys right here and turn them into the darker color just so that it has more design elements to it. So we make these darker and let's just see how that looks for a second. Okay, that's looking pretty good, right? So now I guess we could add a plume for the rocket, but I think that's overkill. I think we don't need it to be a rocket blasting off, but it could be a rocket sitting on the launch pad maybe. So we can put that a little lower. Yeah, yeah, okay, that works, that works. Um, so now let's add some stars, some constellations. Uh, I'm just thinking the most recognizable ones because that's how a medal would probably be made. So let's do maybe Polaris and Orion. That could work. Or actually we could put some astronomical bodies. Let's see, I think it would be a good idea to put in the moon. And, oh, I said Polaris a while ago. I meant Ursa Major, which is the Big Dipper. Uh, Polaris is the North Star and part of Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper. I just, you know, Freudian slips like messed that up. But whatever, does not matter. <laughs> does not matter because I corrected myself. Okay. Yeah, again, anyone that's watching this, just, you know, leave your comments in the chat uh, and we can we can talk. And if you're just watching this back, I hope that you enjoy it because, you know, I hope that if you're bored, it helps you cope with the boredom. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now that's a problem. So maybe we have to flip this, even though that's, like, not correct. Hmm. It looks odd. It looks odd to have these parts being brighter with the other parts being dimmer. And I could theoretically introduce a third color, but I do not want to do that. 
let's just finish let's just finish this out for a moment just see what's up and see how things look and then we can make a judgment okay so our choices are we can make this an even darker color okay I do see the merits in that but then at the same time it kind of draws away from how like metal-y it looks and I know I just invented an adjective but you know it doesn't look that much like a metal yeah you see that looks more like a metal yeah I think this is fine actually it's a little it's a little screwy cuz it's like a reverse color like negative filter type deal but it's I think it works it works okay and for the sake of balance instead of a constellation on the other side I would actually just want to put I think Mars uh oops wrong document we can put Mars because We'll have two circles equal size. I think that'll look good. Then maybe we can add some constellations underneath in this little empty space on the left and the right. Um, or maybe not, because you don't want a metal to get too crowded. So once I finish these two, I'm actually going to see how it might look to expand them and you know make them larger. And take up more space okay so Mars presents an interesting design problem here where because the moon you pretty much have a disk that goes all the way around of one color with Mars if we try to do like alternating colors we're gonna get some parts that just don't fit but let's just try let's just see how let's just you know see what we can do so make this darker actually this would have to be lighter then so that puts the poles at opposite colors which i do not like and the end result is this yeah yeah that's not very good what if we tried the reverse let's see what happens so we will make everything the opposite color so these, these will become the darker color, and now it's hard to see. Okay, let's undo that. Let's just make them red, just as a placeholder so that we can see everything. Uh, okay, so yeah, these can become that color, and then... Bam. Okay. It's looking better. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I think this one might be better. But maybe we can add a, like, outline. Let's see what happens when we add an outline. So we just take this disk and give it, bam, a single pixel, which... This makes it harder to scale it, but oh well. Yeah, okay, that looks decent. So yeah, let's try scaling these up and putting them halfway down. And then, oh, uh-oh, I don't need a special character. No, I don't need a Z. How do I do that? How do I get rid of that? Okay. I just clicked on one of the Z's and they haven't gone anywhere. Like I haven't, I don't see a weird Z being typed. So let's just hope that there is not a stray Z somewhere in this Google presentation. Okay. Scaling these up, scaling these up. And... There's the center. Okay. Oh. 
That's not good. <laughs> okay, finally, there we go. So now we have that. And again, for the sake of balance, I think this needs an outline too. Okay, that actually looks like a really good medal. So that's the astronomy medal for season one. So let me get a little red, white, and blue like metal ribbon. You know, you always see that. So I will add a little. Let's just use this and shrink it to get ourselves the handle. Okay. So, yeah, looking pretty good. I'm actually going to X out of the characters one because I haven't been using it much, and my computer fan is just continuously protesting. It's really just the OBS, though. There's not much I can do about it. It's the streaming software. Uh, okay. But, yes, yeah, so there's that. So then we can add the metal ribbon. And how do we do that? Okay. Uh, so, well, I would put in a trapezoid and then two triangles. And then above them, I would put some rectangles. So. that this can like, this can come in and it'll hover a little above for now just until we finalize everything. So this would be the white strip. Okay. So now we add ourselves a triangle and then eventually two triangles. I want this to be the same height. There we go. And this would be the red one, probably. I might have this backwards. Is it red on this side? I'm going to look up metal. Images. Okay, yes, I was right. It's the red on the left. Okay. Red on the left. And blue on the right. So yeah, okay. Then I'm gonna scale these up just because each color needs to hold sort of equal weight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think we need to flatten this. Hopefully this won't yeah, that distorted the angle of the trapezoid. Let's see. So let's put this here so that we can use it as a reference for how steep the angle should be. Okay, that looks about right. So now we can add in our rectangles of each color. So we get our red. And then we can get our blue. Yeah, there we go. And in the middle, we can put the white. Bam. There we go. I would say that looks pretty good. So now we need to connect it. And there's a few ways we can do that. Okay, let's actually group all these. Group. I might actually throw in some one pixels just so that you don't end up with any little ghost holes between the different colored swatches. Yeah, okay. So let's just, you know, haphazardly uh, sort of
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. Let's adjust. I also want to make this bigger. Okay. What if we made the handle bigger? And let's just see what happens. Let's see how it looks. So that can go there. Okay. Oh, and let's group this metal just so that we can move it around. And group that. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, and don't worry about that sneeze. I'm not sick. I suffer from seasonal allergies. Always have. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not incredibly worried just based on, like, the occasional sneeze that I have. I mean, you know, there's also a tendency to be a hypochondriac right now because this is all you can think about is this one disease. But um, sometimes you just have to ease your mind. Uh, it, it's also flu season as well, so you might, when you're experiencing flu-like symptoms, sometimes that's also just flu-like symptoms. But it is a good idea to get tested either way if you can do that. But, yeah. So, okay, I think this one is looking pretty good. So just three more to go, right? Uh, so that's fun. Let's see, how long have we been streaming for? Oh, 26 minutes, cool. So this is going to be a longer stream than yesterday, uh, and that's good, in my opinion, because it gives me more time to just relax and chat, and, okay, so now this is a problem with this, let's make this a gray, um, but yeah, so, it gives me time to relax, and even if there isn't much chat, I haven't been getting much chat on this live stream, that's fine, because I am exercising my, you know, graphic design. I'm not going to say skills because I don't want to sound like, oh, I've got such skills, but I enjoy graphic design even though I haven't, like, taken a graphic design class. I just enjoy making things that I think look aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah. So, okay. Now we have the baseboard of the anatomy metal and the history metal as well. So we got to ungroup and let's see. So let's make this half as wide. Okay. And we can one and then center it. And that gives us two stripes for you know that symbolizes, uh, or it's like the Roman numeral two. So here we had one, and now it's two. One, two. Okay. And I'm going to group this and copy and paste it into the next uh, metal. So group. Oh, I need to group this guy. Oh, he's in the back now. Okay. I'm trying to get the handle. Group. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. So I use Google Slides just because, you know, I don't want to pay for Photoshop. Uh, and I'll admit it has its limitations, but most of the time it gets the job done. And when it doesn't, I can just find some free photo editor that's similar enough to Photoshop that I can, like, get one or two final edits in. But it should be enough for these simple, like, this kind of... I've used Google Slides to make the graphics for every single Gravity Max video. All the way back to when I was making videos about time dilation when my voice was, like, an octave higher. So, yeah. Anyways, all right, so anatomy, uh, I think I'm going to be using my stick figure guy right here. 
Stickman. The Adventures of Stickman. Okay. So this guy. Let's fit him. He can be the central figure now. Uh, and let's hope he doesn't cover up that all-important center line. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can't find a center, and that's because I'm group. Okay. Now I'll find a center. Okay. So he's there. He's vibing. And let's try both colors. I don't think either's going to work. Yes, yeah, so that that looks weird. And that does as well. Okay, so what if we do do this and then give him like an outline in the middle? Or what if in the middle we have him? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking it. Okay. So if we add our one pixel like that. Okay. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Gotta add it everywhere though. Okay. So these joints here, you end up with, it doubles up. So let's just use the simple curve tool that Google has, and we can undo the overlaps. So can I zoom in anymore? I cannot. OK, I'm as zoomed in as possible. Maximum zoom. All right. And yeah. OK. And there we go. Now we just need to adjust the color. Okay. Again, we can adjust these dots so we can make it look better. All right, that's looking pretty good, pretty fancy. Okay, I will reduce that. Okay, okay, I think, I think this is good, yeah. Zoom out, and that joint looks normal. Now let's fix the other joint. Okay, I'll just use this curve again. Okay, so we can fix this joint right here, go over all the unnecessary lines. All right, okay. Okay, I'm just going to reshape that. There we go. Okay. Actually, there we go. All right. So now, now I have a nice little stick guy. Okay. Uh, so now I'm thinking on either side, he can have... We can maybe put some like vital organs or something. I know that. So let's see. What if we put. We can either put the heart in the brain, or I know that Sebastian, he says his favorite organ is the spleen. So if the spleen looks distinct enough as an organ and not just like a bag of blood and tissue, then maybe, maybe we can put it in. So let's see, what does the spleen look like?
Okay. Okay. I see some design challenges here. Not as distinctive as the brain might be. So we'll work on that in a second, but I'm pretty sure I have a heart somewhere. Somewhere in my big dock of stock images. Let me just find heart. Nope, no heart. Okay. Well, I know that the old Gravity Max intro featured a heart. You know, the one that goes like... Da -da 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 yeah, that one. Okay, so I think I'll go back. I'll find that presentation. Oh no, if it's a .pptx, I hope it lets me copy and paste things from it. Yeah, because this is when I had everything on my school email account at my previous school. Uh, and I, I remember one day, it was like seventh grade or something, where the school was like, okay, we are going to crack down on having personal things in your Google Drive. And so I'm just like, okay, I'm going to move everything over to my private account. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, that's big. Let's shrink that. <laughs> and the Grinch's heart shrank three sizes that day. No. Okay. So there we go. Now we just need to fix all the colors in here. Let's get rid of the outline. Okay. So let's start here. This should be the counter color. Okay. Now, by necessity. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. So far, we've been able to have everything kind of work with these alternating colors, but technically, there's a four color theorem. And the four color theorem states that you need a maximum of four colors to fully describe anything without the colors touching. But look at this. So some colors are touching, so it's indistinct. And that's, that's the basic problem. It, this is a map making problem. So, hmm, so how do we fix this? How do we fix this? We can make this that color. Then they're touching. I suppose we can move this over a little bit. All right. Now, the other problem is that, you know, the background, it blends in with the background. Uh, so let's see what we can do. What if we gave this and only this one? Ah, it's too much. One point font is, or one pixel is far too much. But maybe we can, if we ungroup this. Oh wait, I don't wanna, ah, I don't wanna ungroup everything. Okay. Okay, just ungroup this and we can, add our own little custom outline and we can just do that as zoomed in as possible and we can go over the parts that need help to look good okay that's fine okay. Okay. And of course, this will be going behind everything. Just remember that. Keep that in mind. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. All right. Tiresome work here. <laughs> But I enjoy it. It's relaxing. It's like drawing. You know, they say that drawing helps soothe your mind. So if you're stressed out, then why not pick up a pen and paper, see if you have any markers, any crayons, any colored pencils, and maybe you can try getting to work and draw something. Maybe that'll be soothing to you. But again, maybe not, not everything works for everyone, so yeah. But it might be something worth trying if you are stressed out. 
Okay, so we need to uh, how do I do this? We need to bring this backwards. So order send backward. We're gonna have to click that a few times because we don't want to send to back. We just want to send backward. Okay, send backward. And okay, so let's clean this up a bit. Particularly here. Oh, oh gosh. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, finicky program. I think I'm probably surpassing the intended use of. <laughs> of Google Slides. I'm making the most of Google Slides and probably going past... Oh, wow, okay. That needs to be farther out. I'm probably going past what people intended you able to do with Google Slides. Because remember, Google Slides is pretty much just PowerPoint. And if you think of just a PowerPoint presentation, say your teacher, you know, gives you notes on a PowerPoint presentation instead of the chalkboard, right? Uh, and you see the bullet points, and there might be a photo or something, but they usually don't have full-on graphics making and stuff like that. So, yeah. But, I don't know. I've used it so much, you know. I've used Google Slides for five years, probably, just making videos with its capabilities. And if you go back to those old videos, I would say they, do, they don't look as good as my videos today. And, you know, I mean, that's inevitable. That's just production value increases over time. It means I've improved my work. Oh, gosh. Come six so that you're not in my way. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's actually send this backward so that, there we go. That's the trick, because it's inconsequential, but it gives us access to this. Okay, but yes, as I was saying, I've been working on Google Slides so long that I would self-proclaim self that I am a master. I am an expert at Google Slides. I know how it works. I know the ins and outs. Um, yeah. So anyways, look at that. You got a nice heart down there. Yeah, okay. That looks reasonable. Reasonably good. And again, it's a metal. So metals don't have the best graphics. They're meant to be a little simplistic. Meant to be a little minimalist. Okay. So now, let's see, now we return to the spleen question. Can I make a distinctive looking spleen? Maybe with the arteries. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So here's what I'm gonna do, copy image. I'm gonna bring this image into Google Slides and then I'm gonna trace it with a curve. So, yeah. Let's see. Let me see each part. Okay. Okay, this gives me a pretty good idea of what to do. So, yeah. Alright. So, here we're just tracing along. So, yeah. Alright. No chat yet, but again, Anyone that wants to watch, just go, or anyone that wants to talk, go in the chat and ask me any questions or just tell me anything. We can have a discussion. And again, I'm also in the general section of the voice channel of my Gravity Max Livestream Discord. So any previous guests that happen to be watching, you can go in there and we can talk via Discord. But yeah, okay. So we have our spleen. 
because this is Sebastian's medal. Sebastian had a perfect anatomy category because he's taking an anatomy class. So, you know, go figure. Um, yeah, he did pretty well. I don't think I did as well. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think I did fairly bad. I would say in anatomy, not my best subject, and I have not taken an anatomy class, so, you know, I wouldn't know anything about, that. or not, not I wouldn't know anything, but I wouldn't know a lot, and I really, I don't know a lot, so, yeah, okay, but yeah, so, here's an interesting thing, right, I have my document, the document labeled 2020.03.24. That document, I just wrote it up on the fly and just recalled every time I've left my house since school went out for break on Wednesday. So that's almost 13 days ago. So nearly two weeks ago. Uh, nearly two weeks ago, we had our scheduled spring break, and yesterday we were supposed to return, but instead of returning to school, we just did not, and were canceled through to April 15th. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've left my house four times, which is interesting. Um, so the first time I left my house, I believe... Okay, it was on the Friday, so that's Friday, March 11th, no, wait, wait, wait. Wednesday was the 11th, so that's like, that's Friday, March 13th, oh, Friday the 13th, that's nice, <laughs> so on Friday, March 13th, I left the house briefly to have lunch at a restaurant. And, you know, this is two weeks ago, so restaurants still existed at that point, right? And they no longer really do. So, yeah. So I went to a restaurant and had lunch. So the next instance was the next day on Saturday, March 14th, where I went to a local high school. Not my high school, because they were not a testing center, but I took the SAT, the March 14th SAT, at a local high school. And I did not know anyone there. And I did not, like, know the campus. So that was kind of nerve-wracking. Do you ever feel out of place? Because that was another thing. I was a sophomore. Everyone else there was, like, a junior. Um, I really hate that feeling of being out of place. Um, I do not like to feel like I am not supposed to be here. But whatever. I just suffered through that feeling while I was there. And I took the SAT... And so that, that was the second outing. So then the third outing, that was on Monday. So that was the Monday, not yesterday, although I did have an outing yesterday. But this was the Monday after the Friday and Saturday SAT. So this is still like two weeks ago. And so at this point, if you remember, the whole, the severity of the quarantine and the calls to stay home were not as intense. It was still like socially acceptable and it still wasn't really that much of a health concern to go outside, especially in my state. We did not have many cases. Uh, so they hadn't even canceled school yet at that point, I think. So there was no reason not to, but we were still being wary. So the third outing was on Monday and we took a walk at the beach and like I remember we were making sure to stay six feet away from everyone else on the beach because we were like, we do not want to get sick. Uh, oh yeah, and that's the medal. I think that looks good, right? So, yeah. So now we can get started on history. But let me just finish this story and I'll get started. So, on... What day? Yeah, so on Monday. So we went to the beach and we took a short walk and then we stayed six feet apart from everyone, then we went home, right? And then the fourth outing, I need to add a fifth, and I'll talk about that, but the fourth outing was yesterday, and that was taking a walk in my neighborhood. So I was just, you know, I was in my neighborhood, 
And so, you know, because you need to get fresh air and you need to get outside just to be a healthy human person. So I just took a walk in my neighborhood. Whenever someone is walking in the other direction, you like veer onto the street just to avoid them. But yeah, so I took a walk in my neighborhood. So then today, uh, we like food shopping because we needed to stock up on food. And this was kind of crazy. Uh, we went to Trader Joe's, which is a nice store. And when we show up at Trader Joe's, there is a line outside Trader Joe's. And there's a sign out front that says, only 50 people allowed in the store at a time. And we're like, whoa, this is crazy. So we get in line and the line is spaced six feet apart. So every person in line is standing six feet apart from each other. And I'm like, wow. Because usually a line to enter a place is, you know, shoulder to shoulder. It's incredibly packed because people are like, oh, I don't want to lose my spot in line and people cut in line. But thankfully, people were being fairly orderly at this, like, quiet little Trader Joe's. So it wasn't like, you've probably seen videos where people are at large wholesale stores fighting over whatever, right? So luckily, Trader Joe's wasn't like that. It was just a ton of, like, you know, calm people. But anyways, so we get to the front of the line. And there's a Trader Joe's employee. And he has hand sanitizer, like disinfectant. And it's rubbing alcohol. It's isopropyl alcohol. So I love the smell of rubbing alcohol. It's like the doctor's office smell. Uh, I don't know why. I just associate it with, like, clean cleanliness. So I liked that. So I washed my hands with that. Then we got a shopping cart. And the shopping carts, they had been, like, spraying down with isopropyl alcohol as well. So we take a shopping cart and we go through the store. And we completely fill the shopping cart. Pretty much, usually when you're shopping, especially for food, you're like, ah, oh, do we need that? We don't really need that. Like, ah, uh, we shouldn't, like... Like, we don't need that, that's unhealthy, like, blah, blah, blah. We just, you know, whenever it's like, hey, should we get that? It's like, sure. Because uh, we want to minimize outings, of course. I mean, leaving the house five times in a span of two weeks is very minimal. And so we want to reduce that. So we ended up with a full shopping cart. And, of course, since there was a line out front, there was no line waiting for the cash register. So we were able to just go through and buy our stuff and then go home so we have so much food we have like food for two weeks or something <laughs> so yeah i don't need to leave the house again for shopping and we got some good food we oh we have my favorite thing well my two favorite things at trader joe's is the trader joe's tj brand uh yogurt like they have this yogurt like strawberry uh banana and then like vanilla and blueberries where they come in packs of six and each pack of six has two flavors so it's three and three you might know what i'm talking about if you've been to trader joe's love that yogurt so we got like three cases of that then we also got another thing i love dark chocolate covered cherries favorite thing that is so good dark chocolate covered cherries uh Great to snack on. I don't have any with me right now, but I wish I had taken a handful to snack on during this live stream because they are good. They are really good. You should you should get them. If you ever do a shopping run to Trader Joe's, I would highly recommend the yogurt and the dark chocolate covered cherries. But anyways, time to make the history medal. So this is the last medal. Okay, so this is how anatomy turned out. We'll have it on the live stream next week. So yeah, on Sunday. I'll show that briefly before we play Rento. Uh, then, yeah, so now let's make this history thing. So I need to think of a thing for history. The trend here has been a large center emblem with two things on each side. So let's try that. Huh. Okay, okay. So history could be like 
a scroll, like a text, right? Uh, that's feasible. Okay, so like a text with writing. <clears throat> Let's see if Google has any good shapes for that. I don't think so. Oh, yep, there we go. Look at that, just my luck, right? It literally has it. <laughs> How scrolly do I want it to be? We'll check that in a second. Anyways, transparent, and then, okay. I'll probably make the lines also like that. Okay. Oh, yes, the centering problem. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. I do that, and then let's offer some six, and then kind of just key smash and give ourselves this colored text with this colored highlights. So that we just get blocks. Oh no no no! no. I don't want a continuous block. So we'll have to work through that. But yeah, so but up up because remember we need simplicity. Let's just use ones instead of going full on key smash. I'm just gonna use the same standard character. So then now these can be a few spaces and then back to highlight and on high up on highlight and then highlight again nope there we go then on highlight highlight again oh there we go let's do that so now, let's do a very short word, and then transparent, space, and highlight, and then transparent, space, and then highlight, and then transparent, space, and highlight. There we go. So we'll just keep trucking along like that. Space, highlight. Transparent space, highlight. <laughs> so, this is a fairly arduous task, but a little repetitive. But, you know, it'll give us a nice little document here. It looks like a little censored document. Oh, also the thing is, with this font, oh, we won't be able to scale it up or down. Oh well. Maybe I can just, you know, if I need to scale it up or down, I can just have a screenshot of it scaled up or down. And then... Da, da, da. Oh, no. Okay. And then and let's have this just go halfway so that finally we can include an ending. There we go. So that's fun. Let's make this a little taller, but we can have a space there. There we go. So this is the history award. That looks pretty good already. Uh, let's add like a quill, right? So like a pen and quill. 
then what else? Maybe ink, like quill ink, that could work. I'm trying to think of something historical. Yeah, I think that's probably good. So let's just make the ink collect, you know, the ink thing. Because that's a fairly easy thing to make. Just put in a few rectangles. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's center this for now, but we'll have to make it lower. Okay. So you should be like half full. Actually, there. there we go. So it's full of ink, like it's almost entirely full. But, you know, they've been using some to write this document, presumably. Of course, we have no way of knowing. <laughs> but, you know, up to the imagination of he who views the metal. So. So yeah. Okie dokie. So that there, and then we can bring these to the edge. Now that looks somewhat realistic. If we did that. Uh, it looks it looks too Minecrafty. Let's see though. What if we extended this the full way? Okay. All right. It's it's passable. I would say. Uh, I'm zoomed out. It looks worse though. What if we shrunk the dimensions? Not the dimensions. A dimension. This one. Bam. And group. Fit. Okay. I think we need some curved edges. That's what I think we need. That will remedy the Minecraftiness. Although I do like Minecraft, <laughs> but there's a time and a place for everything. So, we don't need a Minecraft right now. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. For some reason, Google Slides has two shapes that look like this, except one isn't customizable. And if you accident, but let's see, let's see. If you accidentally pick the wrong one, yep, you see, look, this one. Impo you can't customize. See, no, no yellow triangle. Yeah. So, you gotta be careful there. That always, not always, but sometimes that gets me, and I get really annoyed when that gets me because I'm like, why? Why would you have two shapes and one is just worse, objectively worse than the other? <laughs> right? It's just me. Just me. All right. Okay. So. This probably needs to be similar. So I'm pretty sure there's a shape where only the top ones, yep. There we go. That's a good shape. So this shall be our color here. Okay. Bring it to halfway mark. Bam. Okay, and then we can add our little, like, thing there. Yeah, okay. That doesn't look half bad. I bet, I, I bet when I zoom out it's going to look, you know, more than half bad. It's going to look like 
three quarters bad. But let's just let's just find out. Okay. I'll say you know what? I would say it is half bad. So but that's a moderate amount of badness, you know. Um so maybe we can do something about it. And up. Up. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's make you just like that. Let's bring it to front. Fit. All right. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Now we can make our feather quill. Let's see if we have a feather quill already. Hmm. I feel like I had it at some point. I made a feather. Yeah. Here's the problem. Sometimes I'll make something and then only use it in one video and not actually put it in the stock images because I don't use it enough. But then it's like I need to remake it every time or hunt for it. And I. It eludes me. I cannot think of what video that might have been from. So we'll have to do another trace. But that's all right. Uh, gold feather. Okay. Let's just try this one. Because this is a clip art. So copy image and paste image. And now we can do our curve. And let's actually compose this of two curves. We will have one that is the fluff and the other that is the stem. So, yeah. Very rough here because once it gets shrunk, it won't really matter. Um, but yeah, so it was very enlightening going to Trader Joe's today. It was very interesting to see, I mean, I'm glad that they, it seems like they are very prepared, you know, they kept things very clean there. They run a very tight ship, so I, I applaud that, but it is frightening, and it is interesting how things are slowing down because people have been talking about the economy and the damage this might cause because no one's working. And yeah, like I haven't been to a restaurant in two weeks. And I've just been thinking about like how dirty restaurants seem now. Uh, just because if you think about it, like there's no assurance that the people working at restaurants are washing their hands. It's not like you need to be extremely qualified to work at a restaurant, you know? Um, maybe as the chef, yeah, but like as a waiter, like that's that's the job. I mean, that's often a part-time job for teens. So it kind of concerns me to go to restaurants even once this uh, health scare is over, once the once we either have a vaccine or either I don't know or the cases reduce of the coronavirus, it's still a concern. What about just regular diseases? And it makes me think more than ever about how, like, ugh, like restaurants. So, hmm, who knows? Maybe it'll be, personally, it'll probably be a good thing because restaurants are more expensive than just, like, buying food and eating it at home. But the problem is, if so many people now are becoming more conscious about health, and are becoming more like germaphobes, things like that, then restaurants are probably going to take a while to bounce back from this. I, I can't imagine them doing very well. Which, you know, that's just one industry. So this is pretty concerning, I would say. Although, yeah, so it's pretty concerning for the economy. And because it's making me realize how much I actually just kind of enjoy staying at home. 
a lot of people say they're getting stir crazy, so maybe it'll have the opposite effect in like for the most part. Maybe once this is all over, everyone will be rushing to do everything because they've been trapped in their houses and they are so bored that they want to do things. But being at home, uh, doing work from home, is kind of nice. I like it. Uh, but that's just a personal thing. So we'll see what everyone else thinks. Um, yeah, and speaking of work from home, I got my first homework assignment today from, a, uh, from chemistry. And that's, I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to say that's fun, but it gives me something to do. It gets me back into the work routine because usually I find that it's hard for me to sustain working on my own personal projects like Gravity Max stuff as well as my books. After a while, I just get like, I do not want to work on this anymore. Just like, I feel like I can be productive with something, but I just cannot bear to look at this another second. So it's good to have some schoolwork that sort of freshens it up. So yeah, so I have that homework assignment posted on my teacher's website, and I'm going to do that by the end of the day. And I hope the flow, like the flux of homework, I know it's going to increase throughout the week, likely as teachers ha get their plans ready, but I hope that it doesn't increase so much that I can't relax, because I enjoy relaxing. Okay, so we have the feather. And now we can group these together. Uh, group. Okay, and we can make this part darker. And this part can be lighter. And then we'll have to fix that, obviously. But let's just see what we get of it. Okay. So yeah, the bottom part of the feather, it's obviously lost. So what happens if we do a one pixel? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can't scale it anyways because of this. So. Yeah, well, that's it then. We've got all three metals in place. I think this looks good. Astronomy, anatomy, history. So, let's see. I'm going to go into episode 113, the Rento episode. Oh, no, 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 not 113. I need 213. Okay, so the Rento episode. Now I'm going to pin these. Uh, I'm going to pin them onto our characters. So that's the reason I wanted them to be scalable. However, I can work through that. So let me, let's get rid of that, and I don't need that anymore, nor do I need that. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the background color of these characters and Pretty much, I'm going to do the opposite. You know, I'm going to scale up the character so that then I can take a picture and then blah, blah, blah. The classic trick. If you can't scale something down, then scale something up, right? That's the way. That's, that's how you get ahead. So let's see. Are metals usually pinned on the left or the right? I don't know. Uh, my hoodie strings get in the way. Okay, whatever. So, no. group, let's group all these so that they are simple units that I can take. Group, finally, this might already be grouped. Yes, it is. No, it is not. <laughs> angry. That's what that made me. Is this all selected? I sure hope it is. Group. Okay, great. 
So, my character, we've got astronomy, and we've got history. So, yeah, this needs to be scaled up even more. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Okay. Massive scale. Okay. For once, we've gone too far. <laughs> okay. So, let's work on these. So, yeah. Okay, so now they're a little small, I would say. Okay. Let's scale these up. And then let's center them on the page. Okay. All right. That looks good. Let's zoom out. That looks like an appropriate size. Yeah. Okay. Let's just move him over a little bit. And by him, I mean me. Okay. Present. Screenshot. And so then we can scale down this screenshot and put it onto the episode. Okay. Uh-oh. May you please screenshot? Okay, there we go. Alright. So that's screenshot number one. And now, we can do the same thing for Sebastian's character. Let's make sure we get the proportions right, though. So, let's put this the same size. Is that the same size? Yep. Yep. Okay. So now, new page. Or new slide. And let's take his character. And we've got to scale him up. Make him proportional to my character. They're about the same size, so... Order center. Out. Look at the titans right here. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. Wow. I guess I lucked out and just got the right size. Okay. So let's put that metal over here. Yeah. Okay. Now present, and we will screenshot, and then we can take these two pictures, and we can put them into the rento slide. Oh, also, the story behind these two fedoras, we put those in on a whim, just on the first episode. We were just like, wouldn't it be funny if we both had hats? And he's just like, yeah. So then... We just put in two fedoras, and they've been there all season. Or at least, they've been there most of the season. Every once in a while, we would pull a special episode. Not really special, because we did it for quite a few episodes, but when we had our technologies of war, we just gave ourselves little helmets and replaced the hats and stuff like that. So, we did that. And then, let me think. I think for La Science de Roma, which was the science of romance, the French episode, what we did was we, haha, <laughs> we, we made ourselves, we gave ourselves French berets and baguettes. Uh, and then, Trying to think of another episode. What other episode? 
it was the maybe that no yes the USSR episode on the USSR episode we had little USSR hats so yeah so everything had its place all right so I'm guessing I might have messed up the scale but that does not matter as long as it looks good enough bam all right that looks good so they're kind of small to see from a distance on our characters but I can still just put I'm just gonna put these in at the beginning of the rento episode uh, let's show them. I'll put them right after the disclaimer because the disclaimer is a very important thing to have first and of course this applies to every video I make even this one don't be under 13 years old that is a sinister crime <laughs> according to the FTC at least so yeah that's that um, I am also gonna post these on the social media tomorrow so that concludes the stream uh, that was a pretty fun stream oh, I'm tired okay so tomorrow I think I'm gonna have a Wednesday update video or actually no we have a fun video tomorrow you'll see that video Sebastian has helped me with it it's a wonderful short story that he wrote a while back and we're gonna do a voiceover of it like a dictation of it a reading of it like an audiobook or something so that's gonna be fun that's gonna go up on the channel tomorrow hopefully uh, and then I also have I have some footage that I took this morning around 7 a.m. as the Sun was rising where I just did some work on my computer outside in my like sunroom like lanai that might be a word you know it's like a it's a Florida thing it's like a screened in so it's because sunrooms are usually glassed in so they're just entirely surrounded by glass but this is actually outside and it just has a screen because there are so many bugs here and even with the screen bugs get in but I took a nice little video so I'm gonna it's very calming I think because it's morning ambiance and I am going to probably put some updates over that ambiance at some point in the future so that might be Wednesday but that might be Thursday or something who knows it'll be whenever so yeah <laughs> follow Grover Max on social media and follow Sebastian on social media and YouTube thank you all for watching and I'm going to end the stream now. End stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.